I've decided to give up um, three things, three pretty important things in my life. Just for a year, no sex, no masturbation, no marijuana. I anticipate that it's going to be more challenging as the year goes on. Um, so I'm going to document it every single day. Keep watching and I will document um, not only my success and failure if it happens, but also my mental state and any observations that I, um, I'd like to share. Subscribe if you dare. Day four. Um, so I'm actually going to take this opportunity to answer a question I had on my uh, YouTube channel um, from Shiloh. Shiloh. Um, why, why am I giving up sex? Good question. So there's, um, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one is um, I do believe that there are a lot of health benefits um, from, from not having sex. Two, um, from a, for a sense of more self-control, which is important to me. Uh, and three, um, I, do really, I really do believe in the power of sex transmutation. Now, just to clarify, um, when I say sex, I specifically mean ejaculation. Okay, so um, obviously you can have sex intercourse of various, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, intercourse of various forms without ejaculating, but I'm specifically talking about not having sex, meaning no ejaculation. Now, from a health benefit perspective, I actually, I was going to say came across, but I'm not going to say it. I, I, I found uh, an article on, on the internet um, written by this guy who was talking about the health benefits of semen preservation. So he was saying that, um, you know, the, um, the semen is essentially the, the creme de la creme of the body's nutrients. It's the, it's the best of everything, the best DNA, DNA, the best proteins, everything, all obviously, um, um, you know, prepared by the body in order to create life. Um, now, um, apparently he was saying that because of all there's all this goodness in the semen, it, it, it if you continue to, or if we continue to waste that in terms of ejaculate without, obviously, the purpose of, of being of, to create a child, then it actually depletes the body in some way. Uh, and he alluded to, um, you know, old text, um, Vedic text, and he said that after 30 days of not ejaculating, all that nutrition, all that goodness, all that, you know, high energy, high quality, um, you know, stuff, um, after 30 days of not ejaculating, it gets re-assimilated into the body, and as a result, the body is healthier and fitter. So I really like that idea, um, and I do believe that that, you know, that, 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 that makes sense to me. Um, so that's one reason, for health benefits. Two, um, definitely from a, self, from a perspective of self-control. I shared a post on social media um, a couple of weeks ago, a sexually empowered man is, is difficult to manipulate. And I do believe that to be true. Um, you know, um, I've, I'm, I'm speaking from my own personal experience, but of, as guys, we are particularly open to being manipulated um, by, by sex and also the promise of sex. Um, you know, that could be advertising, it could be the media, it could be a, you know, a female, a female partner, it could be a work colleague. And I, I've seen it happen to myself. I've seen it happen to my friends where we are manipulated, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously. We are manipulated into doing things because of our sexual drive and our sexual urges. Um, and I just think that from a man's perspective, I don't want to be manipulated I want to make sure that I am strong and solid in my choices and I have um, very little um, space or, or opportunity to be manipulated so that's a really important one for me um, and then the third one sex transmutation now I was introduced to the concept of sex transmutation um, in um, Napoleon is it Napoleon Hill Napoleon Hill's book Think and Grow Rich um, it's not in the first editions, but in the subsequent editions, at the end of the book, um, Napoleon Hill, Hill talks about the, 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 the possibility of sex transmutation. Um, and I can't remember exactly, it's been a long time since I read it, but he was suggesting that when a guy gets older um, uh, and his, you know, his energy moves away from sex, um, it then allows more creative endeavors and in in the book he i can't remember exactly who he talks about but 
you know, it's an old book, so probably people like Edison or um, Henry Ford or something, and, and suggests that, you know, after 42, 43, 44, um, a ma if a man can successfully redirect his sexual energy, um, it can actually be used, that cre creation, that sort of, you know, that, that life, that stuff that creates life, that creative power can be used to, for other endeavours, other creative endeavours. Now, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm launching a business and I would like to think that I would have to, I would like that my creative power, my creative energy, um, when redirected effectively, can actually have bigger and better um, implications from a business perspective. So that's the three main reasons why I'm doing it. And that's the short version. Um, I, I'm going to keep these videos super short because I do know people's attention spans are, are become less and less as time goes on. Um, so just to just to reiterate, um, day four was a success. I didn't have sex. I didn't masturbate. And I didn't smoke any weed. Um, I imagine it's going to be a sort of an up and down sort of journey. So um, follow me every day uh, if you're interested and I'll, I'll tell you how I'm doing. Subscribe if you dare.